It takes All a lot right. to make this look pretty. It's uh, no, it doesn't. It's, uh, no, You're it's, good to go. It takes a village. You can't you can't fix ugly. Those were the first words I heard out of the womb. Seriously, first thing. Yeah. And my mother's like boy or girl, and they were like, you can't fix ugly. It's just one of those things. Stop. Stop. <laughs> All righty. So tell me a little bit about your role on this new exciting show, Pandora. Okay, uh, I play uh, Greg Lee. He is a medical student um, trying to get on board a exploratory vessel as a CMO. Um, he's very charming, he's very witty, he's very grounded. Um, so not much of a stretch for you to do. Uh, I was about to say, uh, nothing like myself, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's nice because they're, they're everything that, uh, he's everything that my mother wanted me to be in real life. And um, she gets to see that for 40 minutes, approximately approximately uh, on the CW yeah. once a week so um, yeah no uh, he's, he's fun you'll get to know him um, even better as the episodes come, uh, come along and yeah he, he finds himself in this friendship study group along with um, the rest of the characters and they form the new kind of Scooby gang and uh, yeah gets going on a bunch of adventures and yeah he's, um, he's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. So are there some mysteries to be solved? There's a lot of yeah there's a lot of cases to be cracked um, uh, and the thing about Greg is I think he has a little bit of uh, an ego, he's a little competitive, so uh, yeah, he walks a little taller than I do, yeah, yeah. I list my actual height and then he lists it about five inches taller, yeah, yeah. So um, no, but he's, uh, no, he's a lot of fun and he, he seems to be a very sweet and genuine um, character. Um, will he stay sweet and genuine? I, I, you'll, have to, you'll have to tune in, yeah. <laughs> what was one of the most entertaining scenes to film? One of the most entertaining, fun, entertaining. or something that pops to mind. Um, definitely all the spaceship stuff. I think as a kid, you 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 uh you play pretend spaceship in your living room growing up, and so to actually be on a on a spaceship set and to be sitting in a driver's seat and thinking like. For a second, you actually forget, like, because when you're a kid, you're like, oh, yeah, you press this button and you, you pull this lever and then it makes the spaceship go up because there's no rules to this thing. Uh, but uh, it's so funny. For the first take, I remember thinking, like, how do I imagine this happening? And, and, and it kind of caught me off guard. So uh, thankfully, I don't think they used that first take um, where I just kind of look like I'm um, having a brain fade. Uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's a bit better the second time around. And it's just so much fun to be on a spaceship I mean I don't think that needs an explanation <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure <laughs> absolutely so yeah that's probably my one of the most uh, fun scenes that I had for sure yeah and anything you'd want people to know to especially hook them in to watch the show yeah um, it's a big uh, big part of the show is diversity and they were absolutely pushing forward so um, I like to think that across the spectrum of uh, however it is that um, you may uh, feel you identify with any of those characters. I think we represent everybody so well. And I think, um, yeah, I think that's the greatest thing about um, the culture that's changing right now is the idea that everybody is getting to be included and they get to see themselves up on screen. So for everybody who's ever been missed or underrepresented, uh, I think this might be the show for you. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.